Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I thought what a fantastic time to sit down and talk about nude lipsticks. We all know that I absolutely love a good nude lip and a good nude lip combo so that's what I'm going to be doing today. I'm just going to be sitting down talking to you through my favourite all time nude liquid lipsticks and bullet lipsticks. It also ranges from high end to drugstore. There's a wee bit of luxury but more so a drugstore and really really affordable. I'm just going to get stuck in because I have 24 lipsticks here what I talk about. Yes, 24. <laughs> These are the Joseph Colors Liquid Lipsticks. These are absolutely great if you love a good liquid lipstick that is just going to last all day and just has really, really good lasting and staying power through eating, drinking, smoking and whatever else you like to do with your mouth. <laughs> but their nude shades are absolutely gorgeous. So these are actually the only three nudes that I have. The first one here I'm gonna talk about, I'm gonna speed through most of them quickly, but I'm obviously gonna still show you swatches and talk about like the color and the undertone and everything. The first one I have here is in the shade Sand and it is honestly such a beautiful, beautiful nude. As you can see, it is very, very pale. Whenever I first got this, I absolutely loved the color of it. But I think now, because I like more of like a darker nude on my lips. I don't like anything that, that is far far too pale or anything that's just going to be too pale that's just going to wash me out and make my teeth look yellow. But as you can see it's just a really really nice neutral toned nude. It's kind of just like a sandy beige. It's very very nice, very very complimentary. I would say if you have like a dark skin tone this liquid lipstick would might be a wee bit too light for you but just dabbed just in the center of the lips as like a wee ombre moment or just to lighten up a liquid lipstick would be really really good but it's just really not really nice shade nonetheless the next one is knock on wood i actually used this the other day in a tutorial and it is absolutely gorgeous so as you can see it's definitely a wee bit darker than sand but it's just more of like a creamy nude beige instead of like a sandy beige and i do kind of think that it has more of like a like a coffee color undertone as well it's just really really nice like kind of like a a coffee latte type color i don't know this this is going to be such a laugh, me trying to explain all of these nude shades. Wow. <laughs> it is such a beautiful colour. So with the difference between these two, I would say Knock On Wood would actually be more suited for all skin tones, whereas obviously Sand might be a wee bit too light for those with darker skin tones, but I would say this is going to look absolutely, this would look absolutely beautiful on any skin tone. But for me and my skin tone, even whenever I'm tanned and not tanned, it's honestly it's such a dark beautiful colour. It's just it's just such a really really nice tan colour. Like, there's no pink undertones in it. It's just really really nice and neutral. Next one we have from Dose of Colours is Supernatural. It kind of comes actually in between the knock on wood and sand. It still kind of has like beige undertones and it is kind of more like honey toned as well whereas this would be more like coffee and this one here would be more like sand. It's still such a really really nice colour. If this is a wee bit too dark for you and if this is a wee bit too light for you this would be absolutely perfect. Next up is a liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star Cosmetics and this is in the Shane Mannequin. I have so many Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks especially from his like nude family let's just say. I just literally opened up my drawer one day I was going out and I just done a lucky dip basically and I put on this liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star not intending to and from there it's been a it's pretty it's been a pretty serious love affair to be honest. I might actually start to swatch like on my palm the way Jeffree Star does because I have tan on at the minute. I just don't want to take my tan off and like this one part of my hand. Why does my hand look so big? Oh no, this is maybe not the best <laughs> way to swatch. I think it's just like a kind of like a cool toned nude. I would say it has maybe like a wee bit of like a rosy mauve undertone. It's just so beautiful on the lips. It is so complimentary to my skin tone and probably any skin tone. I would say if you're really, really pale, it might come across a wee bit more rosy and mauve on you. It honestly just looks like your lip color, but better. Next up, I have three liquid lipsticks from Kylie Cosmetics. So these are actually from some of her collection. The first one I have here is actually from the Kim and Kylie collab that they had done like 
I'm not even joking about two, three years ago. This collection was her 2017. I want to say 2017 summer collection. That's again how long and how old these are. But they still work great. I'm so disgusting. I'm so gross. I don't care. And I would actually say that her liquid lipstick formula is absolutely perfect in my opinion. Yeah, like honestly fair play to the girl. She honestly has such a really good liquid lipstick formula. The first one is a birthday suit. This is so beautiful. But as you can see it does lean a wee bit more warm toned but it definitely still does have like a really nice nude beige undertone. Mm, I would say if you had like a more darker skin tone this would actually look beautiful on you. It's like the shade is just mm. The next one I have here is Naked. That is Naked swatch there. So as you can see it's a wee bit more neutral. As you can see it's not as warm as Birthday Suit. This is a wee bit more neutral but it's still within the nudie beige family. This would actually be my most used one out of this one because like even trying to get something out of this. This must be nearly done actually. God how depressing. Yeah. This is definitely my most used one because it is just, it's perfect. It is honestly the perfect nude for my skin tone. It is the perfect nude. I don't know how many times I've worn this. I always get compliments whenever I'm wearing this. With the Kim one, this is Kimberly. This one is kind of more pinky toned. See, coming into the spring and the summer and having like a pink toned nude. Oh, it is so gorgeous. I don't really know what to say, but overall, it's just a really, really nice color. We have a bullet lipstick this time, and it's from e.l.f., and this is their moisturizing lipstick, and it's in the shade Party in the Buff. We have a lot of, like, warm nudes, pink nudes, neutrals, warms, whatever, whereas this wee lipstick here is more of on, more on the peachy side. There's definitely no pink in it, although if there was going to be a wee bit of pink in it, it would be, as I say, a wee bit salmonish. But other than that, it's definitely a very, very peachy toned nude lipstick. It's very, very nice, very, very beautiful. And of course, because it's kind of like in that moisturising bullet lipstick form, it's very, very comfortable, easy to wear. It doesn't last the longest, obviously, but it's still very, very nice. It's just, it's such a beautiful colour as well. Very, very complimentary on any skin tone. We have one from Bare Minerals, and this is in the shade Cult. This is a matte liquid lipstick, by the way. I'm not, <laughs> I don't even know what to say about this liquid lipstick lipstick but I'm, I'm um uh, yeah <laughs> I'm just going to swatch it first of all so you can see that's if it even comes up on my skin by the way this is the liquid lipstick that I use if I want to say lighten a lipstick or I want to create a nice sweet ombre situation or moment because it is literally like concealer in my opinion like I would say there's some of you out there that actually use this color as a concealer it is a pure, pure nude. I would definitely say it's more of a cool slash neutral undertone and it just has nothing in it apart from pale nude. <laughs> It's a very, very nice, very, very nice formula, very, very comfortable. It's not drying, it doesn't flick, it doesn't gather in the inner rim of the lips. <laughs> But yeah, it's just definitely one of those colours that's far far too light for my skin tone. If you're a wee bit of a lighter complexion, this might work absolutely beautiful for you if you can't find a nude liquid lipstick that is light enough for your skin tone. So of course I wasn't going to be doing this video without mentioning my Burberry, let me see, Liquid Lip Velvet Bold and Matte Whipped Lip Cream. This is in the shade Light Nude. This is the most beautiful nude lip. It is honestly so good. Oh my god. It's a lip velvet, so that kind of means that it doesn't dry down completely matte. The only way I can describe these is the NYX soft matte lip creams. So it kind of has like that whipped formula and it kind of feels like that whenever it's being applied to the lips. Like it's completely matte, yes, but you still have the movement within your lips. You'll still be able to that <laughs> and it is just extremely comfortable on the lips with it not drying down completely matte and having like that liquid lipstick stay on power it actually lasts quite a long time but it's just the formula it's just it is such a beautiful beautiful comfortable formula as you can see it is a very very light nude i would say it's more of like a cool tongue nude there is no warmth in this whatsoever so i would say out of all of these 
liquid lipsticks and lipsticks I would say this one would definitely be like my number one favorite um, if I had to get rid of all my nudes I would definitely have to keep this one we have Colourpop of course they have so many different colors undertones but out of my collection of nude liquid lipsticks from Colourpop I've picked out my top three so we have Chai, Magic Wand and Midnight Snack I'll swatch Midnight Snack first of all because this is probably my favorite this is actually the second time I have had to repurchase this it is so good it is absolutely gorgeous again <laughs> I actually discovered this because I think I was just like heading out some night and I just needed to like top up my lip colour and I just do like a lucky dip like anytime I'm going up to Kyle's at the weekend or in the evening sorry and I'm wearing lipstick that day but it's a wee bit rubbed off I'll just do like literally like a wee lucky dip into my nude lips and whatever I get I get <laughs> this is how I discovered my love for this because it was in my collection for so long and I just never used it until I just grabbed it one night but that's it swatched there. As you can see, it is slightly like um, Mannequin in the fact that they kind of have like that mauve undertone. Although I would say that this one from a Colourpop does sway a wee bit more pink. It's definitely really good for like an everyday nude, by the way, because as I say, it's not too light, but it's not too dark. You don't want to wear anything that's too light and too concealer-like, and then you don't want to wear anything too dark where it's starting to get a wee bit vampy. You like to wear something during the day that's a wee bit more pink tone and has a wee bit more of mauve on it so that it's actually it looks like your lips only better as I say I've repurchased this I do not know how many times now because it literally is my everyday go-to liquid lipstick if I'm just wanting to shove something on um yeah it's honestly it is so so good I'll just watch magic wand for you so that's magic wand there as you can see there's actually well you can't see because I washed it off but it's actually very very similar to Midnight Snack though I would say this one here is a wee bit more of like a warmer nude um because Midnight Snack is actually very very light in the packaging but once it actually dries down it can dry down a wee bit darker but it's still a very very nice everyday shade like Midnight Snack and then Chai Chai is actually very very nice. That's Chai. Chai to me is definitely kind of like a more leaning towards like a true brown type of shade and it's definitely more of like a beige toned nude but yeah. At this point I don't really know what else to say you know. <laughs> Um, I would say Maybelline definitely have the best range and selection and undertones and colours of nude bullet lipsticks. They also range from quite glossy to matte to satin so they don't only have a lot of ranges and undertones of nudes but they have different ranges of finishes as well. Um, how am I going to swatch all these for you? This first one here is Tantalizing Taupe, I think. Very like um, Magic Wand and Midnight Snack in a bullet form. That's Tantalizing Taupe swatch there. I'm not going to be going into too much detail about these. Obviously, you can see for yourselves, these are just really, really beautiful nudes just all over I suppose. So that's Tantalizing Taupe Nude Embrace and this is a matte from Maybelline. Their matte lipsticks are very comfortable by the way, like as you can see they swatch really easily, they're not very drying or anything. So that's Nude and Brace and we're now back to our satin lips. So that's Honey Beige as well. This is a Brazen Beige, I have this all over the lips today. And then Sultry Sand I think it's called. Yep. As you can see it is literally nearly just like off white. It is a very 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 pale pink nude. Um, so this is as you can see I just have it in the centre just as a wee bit of a light moment. So I'm going to swatch Brazen Beige first of all. This is honestly such a gorgeous colour. Out of all of these this is probably my favourite actually. So that's it there. It is so pale. Like look it nearly looks white. <laughs> But yeah, you definitely could not wear this on its own. Well, who am I to judge? If you wanted to, you could. Who cares? Um, 
But yeah, this is just one of those lipsticks that I just definitely wear to pop in the center to, as I say, lighten a nude or whatever. I definitely, my choice though, I would not wear this just on its own or whatever. That's all them Maybelline lipsticks swatch. They're honestly so, so good. And they are very different in their own wee way, if that makes sense. But you can definitely tell like the different colors and the undertones in them. Um, they're all very, very wearable, of course, for any skin tone, but from the drugstore, they're just so, so good. Okay, so I have five lipsticks left that I want to talk about and they're all from Primark. If you have been following me from the very beginning actually, you would recognise these lipsticks. These were honestly like my go-to lipstick at the time. I wore this lipstick every single day. Um, I think Primark still does these, but I don't know, you can tell me down below in the comments and then these as well. So I'm going to just talk about these ones here first. So these are their matte formula and we have Naked and Thrill Seeker. So I'm just going to swatch these because they are very, very similar to the first lipsticks that they came out. Um, they've just changed the packaging and the names, by the way. So this one here, as I say, is Naked and there is no difference in the formula and the shades, they are still just as good. As I say, the packaging just has changed. One thing I will say is whenever you first go to swatch it in the hand, on the hands, whenever you're in the shop or something, um, they can be a wee bit tough, but if you keep on going over, your hand will actually warm up the lipstick and it will just glide on beautifully. So obviously it will warm up to your lips as well, but that is a naked swatch there. As you can see, it's very, very pale, yes, but it is just, it's just gorgeous. Primark does probably the best lip liners as well. They have Toffee, that's probably one of my favorites, but I don't know what other ones they have, but if you get like a Primark lip liner and it's like a dark nude or a nude, and then just like get one of these wee lipsticks, you have the most beautiful nude lip combo. Honestly, it is absolutely gorgeous. It is so, so beautiful. Um, but that's that one there. And then we have Thrill Seeker. So that's Thrill Seeker. Obviously, you can definitely tell the difference. So it's a wee bit more darker. It's just a wee bit more of like an everyday type of colour. Whereas this was an everyday colour for me because I loved like a really, really pale nude lip back in the day. But this for me would now be like an everyday type of colour because it's just more wearable. And it's more of like your lips but better type colour. Correct me if I'm wrong, a pound, 150, two pounds, three pounds even. I honestly do not know. But the quality of these lipsticks from Primark for the price, I don't know. Just for the sheer hell of it and the crack, I'm actually gonna show you a matte red. They are so, so good as well. The reds from Primark are honestly so, so good. I'll actually show you this like, on camera. Okay, that was crap. I haven't used this in a while, okay? Sometimes you have to like really like warm it up on the hand, if that makes sense. This is a lipstick from Primark that cost, what, two pounds? And then we have this other one and it's from the Luster collection. A couple of swipes does it. So good! Honestly guys, go into your local Primark and pick up some of their lipsticks and their lip liners. They are absolutely fantastic. So yeah guys, that is it. That is all my favourite nude lipsticks from High End Drugstore. A wee bit of luxury from Burberry there. Thank you so so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter. They're all linked in the set down below in the description box. If any of you guys have any questions regarding any of these lip products, do leave me a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Um, but yeah, thank you again so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video.